Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. In this series of biology lessons, we'll deal with the basics of human body. Moving on to the human body basics. So what does you know about basics of human body? So let's deal about the basics of human body in this topic in detail. So first we shall introduce ourselves to the human body. So what is actually human body? Human body is a complex biological system involving cells, tissues, organs and systems. Group of cells make up of tissues, group of tissues make up organs and group of organs make up organ systems. Okay, so cell is a basic unit of the human body and the organ system is the largest unit of the human body. And all these work together to make up a human being. Okay or an animal etc. Moving on to the senses, these are the very basic of a human body or an animal. The human body has five major senses that is it uses to convey information about the outside world to the brain. So these senses are used to convey the sen information to the brain and brain acts accordingly as per the senses information received. What are the senses which we have in the human body? So generally we have five senses. The first is sight that is eyes. Next is ears for hearing and next is smell that is by nose. Next is the taste that is by tongue and next is the touch or skin. These are the basic five senses in a human body. Moving on to the cells, tissues and organs. What are cells, tissues and organs? Cells is, cell is a basic unit of a human body. Cell, like all living organisms, the human body is made up of cells. There are different types of cells in the human body. And group of cells which work together to perform a function are called as tissues. There are four major types of tissues in human body. What are those? Muscle tissue, connective tissue, epithelial tissue and nervous tissue these are the four tissues so cells make up tissues and tissues make up organs and organs make up organ systems this is the flow chart next moving on to the organs so tissues make up organs these are somewhat independent parts of the body that carry out special functions and these are made up of tissue so group of tissues form the organs examples of organs include the eyes heart lungs liver and stomach and moving on to the organ systems a group of organs make up the organ system there are several organ systems each system is made up of organs and other body structures that again like cells or tissues or organs have specific functions okay so cells make up tissues and tissues make up organs and organs make up organ systems next moving on to the organ systems now we shall deal with them in detail most scientists divide the body into 11 or 12 organ systems. Some scientists divide them into 11 or some scientists, other scientists divide them into 12 organ systems. The first is skeletal system. As you know, skeletal system involves, involves bones, ligaments and tendons. It supports the overall structure of the body and protects the organs. So skeletal system is very important. It's like a uh, base like car has a vehicle as a base skeletal system is a base moving on to the muscular system this muscular system works closely with the skeletal system and muscles help the body to move and interact with the world so you can move from one place to another because of the muscles next moving on to the next organ system the third one that is cardiovascular or circular system this helps deliver nutrients throughout the body the circulatory system it consists of the heart blood and blood vessels so heart blood and blood vessels involve the cardiovascular system next moving on to the fourth organ system that is digestive system the digestive system helps to convert food into nutrients and the body the complex molecules are converted into simple molecules by the digestive system in the simpler forms by the digestive system okay 
So some of the organs in the digestive system include stomach, small intestine, large intestine, liver and pancreas. Okay. Moving on to the fifth organ system in the human body that is nervous system. The nerves help the body to communicate and allow the brain to control various functions of the body. So brain controls the body through nervous system and it includes the brain, spinal cord and large network of nerves. These are the part of nervous system and moving on to the respiratory system the sixth organ system it brings oxygen into the body through the lungs and windpipe and it also removes the carbon dioxide from the bodies the inhalation and exhalation is called one cycle of respiration okay and moving on to the seventh organ system in the human body that is endocrine system. The endocrine system produces hormones that can help regulate in the regulate the other systems of the body. Okay, it, it secretes hormones particularly. It includes the pancreas, adrenal glands, thyroid, pituitary and other glands. Next moving on to the eighth organ system, the organ, urinary system. It uses the kidney to filter the blood and eliminate the waste okay the waste will uh, be, will be added to the water and it will be ejected through the urethra okay it contains it consists of a pair of kidneys urinary bladder one urinary bladder and one urethra okay moving on to the other organ systems the ninth one it is intergumentary system the intergumentary system helps protect the body from the outside world particularly it involves skin hair and nails and moving on to the 10th organ system that is reproductive system. The reproductive system includes the sex organs that enable people to have children. Okay. The system is different for males and females. Yes. Moving on to the 11th organ system. Some of them call the 11th immune system as 11th and lymphatic system as 12th. So both of uh, have the similar functions. Uh, the immune or lymphatic system work together to protect the body from diseases as it says immune system so it protects from the diseases so these are the 11 organ systems which are present in the human body next moving on to the vital organs of the human body humans have five vital organs that are essential for the survival they are first one is the human brain the master of the human body which controls the total human body it is a control center receiving and sending signals to other organs through it receives and sends signals through the nervous system and it secretes hormones it is responsible for our thoughts feelings memory and general perception of the world so if you are something means it's because of your brain right and next is human heart it is responsible for pumping blood throughout the body because blood carries food so it also carries the wastage to the kidneys and kidneys will send out the waste through the water next and the third vital organ in the human body is kidneys the job of the kidneys is to remove waste and extra fluid from the bl blood it takes a it take urea out of the blood and combine it with water and other substance to make the urine next the fourth vital organ in the human body is liver it has many functions including detoxifying harmful chemicals, breakdown of drugs, filtering of blood, secretion, produ production of blood clotting proteins. Okay. Liver is mainly, it is the largest gland in the human body which secretes a bile juice. Right. It, this bile juice is helpful for the breaking of complex molecules into simpler food. And the fourth vital organ is the lungs okay these are responsible for removing oxygen from the air uh, that we breathe and transfer it, it to our blood where it can be sent to our cells the lungs remove the carbon dioxide which we exhale already we know this inhalation and exhalation so these are the five vital organs okay next moving on to the fun facts some of the facts regarding human body let's see what are the facts the average adult human body is 50 to 65 percentage of water so simply said 50 to 65 percentage of human body is water only 
okay average is around 57 to 60 the percentage of water in infants is more than the adults and our dna stores 23 pairs of chromosomes within the nucleus of every cell in our body right moving on to some more facts all body parts can repair themselves but except teeth okay and the human body is made up of around 37 trillion cells there are more non-human cells in our body than human ones okay like stem cells etc they don't have particular function but they will be helpful in whenever required and remember the thigh bone this is very important the thigh bone femur is the longest and strongest bone in our body and which is the smallest one the stapes is a third bone of the three ossicles in the middle ear the stapes is a stirrup shaped bone and the smallest in the human body so longest is femur that is thigh bone and smallest is the stapes in the human ear and the average human heart beats around 1 lakh times per day and the average respiration is around 12 to 18 times per minute okay and if you spread out the wrinkles in the brain it would be about the size of a pillowcase and fingernails grow much faster than the toenails the hand fingernails much grow much faster than the toenails and they are both made up of a protein called keratin so presence of keratin will help the nails to grow about 60 percent of the human body is uh, made up of water we have already seen the brain itself doesn't feel any pain remaining all of the parts will feel pain but brain will not feel pain the largest of the human internal organs is the small intestine and acid in the stomach is powerful in enough to dissolve some of the metals also okay like hydrochloric acid which is secreted in the stomach the left lung is typically around 10 percent smaller than the right lung so left lung is smaller than the right lung this this is to make room for the heart and human bo humans are born with 270 bones at birth several of these bones fuse together by adulthood making of total 206 bones in the adult by by the age of 21 he will get only 206 bones out of 270 bones at the human birth okay so hope you have learned enough things in the basics of human body we shall meet in the next topics thank you